What is up, everybody? Today's a new video. It's not really that good. Not good news, but there's a little bit of positivity in it, kind of. But they got me, bro. They got the truck. They got me good. I was pissed. Let me show y'all. Well, you can tell by the title, but let me show y'all. Yup. They broke my window, bro. They tried to rob me. Don't worry about the steering wheel. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Um. Ah. Uh, so they tried to rob my truck. I don't know if they were trying to steal the truck or just looking for cash. But all I know that everything in here was just dumped right here. They didn't take anything. I already thought they were gonna take this, but they didn't. But I I really don't care anything in the truck. Only thing that's worth stealing in here is the the stabilizer, my radio, and then my speakers. But they didn't take anything. So pretty much, they broke the win They just broke the window. I was watching a movie here at the movie theaters. And I come back and then my whole window is just on the ground in the parking lot. So but it's a it's a, it is what it is, you know. It, it happens and it sucks, but it happens. It happens to the best of us, you know. All we gotta do is just Move on and deal with it. When it happened, I was pissed. I was pissed off. Like, literally, I was extremely pissed. But, you know, I calmed down. And I was like, you know what? It could have been worse. The whole truck could have been gone. So, I'm lucky I still have the truck. I just, now, now I know not to go to that movie theater ever again. So, there's that. That's, that's... That. The only negative part. But today, I have this. I got this from my job. I got a whole steering wheel with the thing. I guess you can call it the rack, the whole steering rack. But the main thing I need is this. So I'm gonna take this off. Let me go back over there and show you why I need it. So, in my truck, Right here. Let me open the door so you can see the lights turn on. A little bit better lighting. This is flimsy. It's just broken. That's not like pop into place. Like if I do here, it should move back on its own because that's like the high beams. So turn signals, you know, they do what they do, but it's just the high beams. So when I use my turn signal, sometimes it goes this way or that way. And then, you know, I'll be blinding people on the highway. So, we're going to replace that. I've seen some videos. It's pretty easy. I think you got to start at the bottom first. You got to remove this. And then there's this, I think that's the screw right here. That little hole. Take it out. Pop this out. And then you move up. There should be two screws right here to get, I think, both of these pieces out. And then we're set. There's a, there's a way by the book where you have to. Remove the airbag, remove the whole steering wheel just to get to that. But there's there's an easier way to, you know, to do without doing all that. So there's that. And I also got some other things. They're back over here. I got one of these. Got this at the junkyard. Not the right color, but I'm not worried about the color. Because I plan... My original was my original plan was getting the whole headliner done, but that happened. But this is broken. It looks normal, right? Well, pop it out, and yeah, it hangs like that. So it's broken around here, or yeah, like right there. I, that, that's where it's broken from. It's supposed to be like straight. And then you can move it. But it hangs. So I don't want that. 
And the color did not matter because I was gonna get the headliner done anyways. Come on, get in. Get in. Okay, there. There's that. I was gonna get the headliner done. I wanted it black so you can match with the rest. And then I also got one of these. An ashtray. got this as well but 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 it's the wrong color I did not know there were two different shades of brown apparently my brown is lighter and that brown is darker because that came off that came out of uh, the one with the, the tan interior but like the whole door is tan the dash is tan or brown or whatever you want to call it so yeah, those have a darker brown. I did not know that. I thought it was all the same brown. So the only reason why I want to change it is because mine does this. Yeah. The, the tab right here is broken. There's supposed to be a tab right here and it goes up there. And that's about it. I mean, not much. I mean, you can't really tell if you have it closed, but it, it rattles and I don't like that uh, you can hear rattling like it rattles I don't like that when you're driving but other than that it's okay the truck I found though the one that was there where I got those parts from the dash was in perfect shape no cracks mine has cracks like right there and there's someone over there and there's like one right there. I wanted the dash, but well, first of all, I didn't bring the truck to the junkyard. And I don't know how to take off the dash. So there's that. So right now we're gonna vacuum the interior because well, glass everywhere. And then I'm gonna take off that piece. And yeah, so let's get to it. All right, everyone, so I got the I got the switch out, and I got my switch out. This is mine, but yours, you guys will be so much straightforward than mine. I don't know. Previous owner, I don't know what the, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but what the fuck they were trying to do. So this is the one I got from the steering wheel, this. And it's supposed to be a, a connector. No, hopefully in y'all's trucks, the same one. Y'all's should be connect to that. See, when I took the whole thing out, there was nothing there. That wasn't connected to anything. I was like, that's weird. Turns out the connection for this, this. Let me go back to the other one. Is right here. I don't know why it was here. It makes zero sense as to why it's there. So on mine, where, where it's right here, it was connected to this. I don't understand why it was right here. Does it make sense? So, I'm gonna try to cut it and stuff so I can do it. But I don't have my bag that cuts wires and my stuff. And here's the thing though it works. Your turn signals work. Your high beams do not. I actually did not check if the wipers work. I didn't check that. But. I beam, the turn signals work if you, if you don't care about your high beams. I did not check about, see if this was working. So this will be another thing. So, yeah. So let me explain. Okay, let me explain on the other one because this one's different. Well, it's not different, but it's just easier because this one's out. Okay, so technically this is the top. Top. 
you want to go to the bottom like i said um i think that's the screw right there where you take it out from that's that's gonna be a five millimeter yeah 5.5 millimeter or from what i've seen seven seven thirty two whatever that is and you have two more right here same size and that's the top piece and then that's and then you just pop off the covers so yeah so right here and that's where the five five uh five point five or seven thirty twos and then this also has a has the same bolt size and it bolts right there when you take it out so yeah, it's it's simple mine is just different but then y'all know that's what it is so pretty much the bolts are all the same size the only only size that you're gonna need i think it's a like seven and it's to get you know this piece the bigger piece that's right that covers most of it from like down here right there and right right over there and that's about it that's a size seven and the rest you know they're gonna be 5.5 if it focuses yeah 5.5 but yeah and i heard 732 work if if you have one yeah this size so this size also works if you don't have 5.5 if it focuses and it's right there it says right there yeah so yeah i don't have my bag unless someone else borrow it that has all my electrical stuff to do it so i'm gonna just put the truck back in the garage and i'll continue it on another day so yeah it's the end of the vlog oh let me finish it off it's the end of the vlog and i'll catch you on the next one